New Hampshire, the Granite State. What? Your marketing is the Granite State? Like, hey, come on down, we got rocks. Mm -mm. What's going on everyone? We are doing a, something a little different today. The other day when I was on vacation, I was driving around and I saw some license plates on cars that uh, had their state nickname on them. And it got me to wondering about state nicknames and I was thinking if these state nicknames actually did a good job of selling your state. You know, like when I see the state nickname, does it make me want to visit or even move to the state? Since part of my job is marketing, I thought it'd be fun to take a look at some of the state nicknames that are around and give you my thoughts on their effectiveness and just what comes to mind when seeing these states and some of their nicknames. And warning to those watching, some of these nicknames are not the official nicknames of states, so don't message me. I already know, okay? Here we go. Alright, I see first up is Colorado, and before we get to the state nickname, when I think Colorado, I think Denver, and Denver has a nickname. Actually, fun fact is Denver is called the Mile High City because it sits exactly one mile above sea level. Second fun fact, because Colorado already had the Mile High City, they decided to go ahead and legalize marijuana in 2012 so that the entire state could be a mile high as well. And now the nickname for Colorado that is emerging is actually the Mile High State. It's actually not bad marketing, Colorado. I mean, if that is your thing. <clears throat> yeah. Moving on. Next state up, my home state, the Peach State. Come on down to Georgia because we are number one when it comes to peaches. Wait, I'm looking here. We're we're not number one, but it's the Peach State. We're number two, close. Nope. Maybe number three. Let me see. Nope, New Jersey's got number three. All right, what number? We're, we're number four. So we're called the peach state, but when it comes to peaches actually grown, we're, we're number four. I don't know about you, but I'd call this false advertising, all right? If you're gonna have a nickname for a state, you, you need to be true in what you're saying. So I don't know about you, but in my opinion, I think that Georgia needs a new state nickname, one that, um, kind of matches truth about living here. And I've lived here my whole life. So let me think a minute. Let me see. Mm, mm, I got it. This is the perfect state nickname for Georgia. All right. The state nickname for Georgia should be the soul sucking sports state. Okay. That is truth in advertising because if you live here long enough and you like sports, the sports teams here will rip out your heart, throw it on the ground and stomp on it. Okay. It's just going to happen. So that, that's real, it's not, it might not attract you here, but it's telling the truth. As we keep going, we see Florida, the Sunshine State. Hold up, I have been to Florida plenty of times on vacations and just about every time when I'm there, it rains about every other day. So let me see here. Okay, Orlando, in the middle of Florida, it averages 117 days of rain a year. What the heck do you consider sunshine? And to throw in, if you go down to Miami, the major college there, its nickname is the Hurricanes, all right? And once again, I see some serious false advertising when it comes to the state name. You don't wanna be something that you're known for. Try going with like the Alligator State or the Retirement State, the Disney World State, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter State. The termite state, heck, I don't care, but you certainly ain't the sunshine state. Y'all kind of stretching the truth a little bit, I think, and maybe Nevada should be the sunshine state. Speaking of which, Nevada's up next, the silver state. You know, on one hand, I don't mind this nickname as I like silver. I think it looks good, it's valuable. But on the other hand, I feel like I'm just settling for second place with this state. I mean, when you get the silver medal, that's for the runner up. 
I mean, it's kind of like your state is saying, we're number two, we're number two. Nevada, I really think that maybe you should negotiate with Florida on that whole Sunshine State title. Just my opinion. All right, next up we have California, the Golden State. Ah, here we go. Gold, right? Number one. But just one problem with this nickname that it actually makes total sense. I mean, you actually have to be sitting on a pile of gold to be able to afford to live in California. And man, I've seen the taxes there. Good Lord. Golden State, though, pretty much works. It's accurate. So I put my seal of approval on this state's truth in advertising. From California, we jump to New York, the Empire State. Now, wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Stop it. Stop it right here. I've seen Star Wars, all right? I know what the Empire does. There ain't no way I'm coming there and getting force choked like this dude. Fort. I find your lack of faith disturbing. And man, y'all sitting there blowing up planets too. No, mm -mm, mm -mm. sorry. I can't handle that part. That's a hard pass for me on the Empire State. All right, what we got next? What we got next? South Dakota, the Mount Rushmore State. You know what? This is, this is good stuff, South Dakota. This is good stuff because you definitely need to advertise the best thing that is in South Dakota, which is Rushmore and that whole area around it because I've driven across South Dakota and let me save you a trip. You've got Sioux Falls on the east side of the state and you've got Mount Rushmore, the Badlands and the Black Hills, which are pretty cool on the west side of the state. But when you go from one to the other Sioux Falls to Rushmore, you've got 300 miles in between of just grass. I mean, that's it. There's just a bunch of grass. And if you happen to be driving across the state, don't fall for this sign that says scenic view. That's right, as you're traveling across the state going on Interstate 90, you will come across a sign that says Scenic View. I'm not going to lie, when I did the drive, I got so excited when I saw this sign that said Scenic View three miles ahead. I was like, yes, finally, there is something to see besides grass. I passed the Scenic View sign two miles ahead. I passed the next sign that said Scenic View one mile ahead, and I was getting excited. Oh man, I'm going to see something, and as I was approaching the turnoff, which was right off the interstate, I could see that there were cars parked on the top of this grassy hill. I saw people standing on the hill and looking over on the other side. And then I also saw that the interstate wrapped around this hill. And I noticed that if I stayed in my car, I think I had like a 90% chance of seeing this scenic view. So I just decided to keep on driving because I wanted to get out of this grassy area, right? And I would see their scenic view. As I went around this hill, what do my eyes behold? What is the amazing view I see? Is it a mountain? Nope. Waterfall? River? Nope. Lake? Nope. What are these like 30 people on this hill looking at? What are they setting their gaze upon? It's a tree. Now let me tell you something, South Dakota. Come on over to my house and I'll show you the best scenic views you have ever seen right in my backyard because I got like five or six of these trees. That ain't no scenic view. All right, moving on. New Hampshire, the Granite State. What? Your marketing is the Granite State? Like, hey, come on down, we got rocks. Mm -mm. Come on, New Hampshire, do better. You know what? I've changed my mind. I suggest you just do like a whole bunch of the other states and just lie. Like, come up with a nickname that just makes people want to come there. <sighs> All right, moving on, South Carolina, the Palmetto State. All right. Now, this one ain't too bad. I mean, Palmetto kind of looks like a palm tree, and you know what? I like palm trees, but all's good until you find out something. See, there are these bugs that they like to call palmetto bugs. See, y'all thought y'all was smart when y'all came up with this whole palmetto bug idea as if you weren't going to scare people off, but... Let's just call them what they really are. For those not familiar, palmetto bugs are just big old roaches. And them things have wings and can fly too. I mean, once you find out, do you really want to move to the palmetto state with their palmetto bugs? Uh-uh. Mm-mm. No. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. No. Take me back to the grass and let me drive across grass all day long. Mm-mm. 
Well, this video was definitely different than the normal videos I post, and it was a whole bunch of fun making it. I hope you enjoyed, and don't worry, I will not quit my day job. For those that don't know, I'm Jonathan McCoy. I'm a realtor here with Keller Williams Realty Chattahoochee North in Atlanta, Georgia, in the metro Atlanta area. And if you're looking to make that move to Atlanta or already live here and are looking to buy or sell a home, contact me. I would love to help you out. And check out a bunch of the videos that are the ones I normally do that I post that are about living, working, playing, and breathing all things Atlanta and the metro Atlanta area. I also do a bunch of videos that will help you with buying and selling real estate. I post videos every Thursday and like I said, 99% are about real estate. Thanks and I will see you next time.